Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 2nd of 2022. Well, it is titled partial solar eclipse over Argentina. So what do we see here? Well, while this might look like a crescent moon, it's actually an image of the sun. And we do see the sun and the moon in this image. And while the moon does not appear to be visible, it is actually what is blocking out part of the sun. A solar eclipse occurs when our moon passes in front of our sun and blocks out at least some of its light. Now we can have a partial solar eclipse, which is what is imaged here, where even at the maximum, all of the sun is not blocked out. And that means that the moon was not lined up perfectly enough with the sun to exactly pass in front of it. And we can also have a total solar eclipse and a total eclipse would be that the moon and the sun are precisely lined up and for a period of time, it would completely block out our sun. So in that case, they would completely block out. Now through a coincidence here on Earth, the moon and the sun happen to have about the same apparent size on the sky. While the moon is much smaller than the sun in real life, it's also a lot closer, which makes it appear larger. So they happen to be almost the same size, meaning that total eclipses are relatively rare in that you have to have everything lined up perfectly. And typically we get a solar eclipse of some time once or twice a year. But a total solar eclipse might occur only every couple of years. And it really just depends on the exact orientations of the sun and the moon during the proper fate when they are at their proper phases. In order to see a solar eclipse like the one here, you have to have the moon at the new moon phase, which means it's in the same direction as the sun in the sky. However, the moon's orbit is tilted slightly relative to Earth's orbit around the sun. And that means that most of the time the moon will pass well above or well below the sun and never exactly block it out, even during the new moon phase. It's only during those special times when they happen to line up perfectly, or at least very close, that we get eclipses like this. Uh, as we see a partial solar eclipse or sometimes and one coming up in North America in about two years. And in fact, April of 2024, there will be a total solar eclipse that will cross part of North America. So here we get to see an eclipse from just a couple of days ago uh, for observers in parts of South America that were able to see this partial solar eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for May 2nd of 2022. It was titled Partial Solar Eclipse over Argentina. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Planet Tail. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>